Greetings. This is L. Benny Turner, also known as Love Linux OS, uh, coming at you with my fourth video. Uh, this is the distro of the month for open source information blog site. It's lovelinuxos.blogspot.com. Now, <clears throat> like I said, the distro of the month is going to be Nofix. This is one of the first distros that I've uh, that I use live and use as a main troubleshooting tool that I've mentioned earlier when I was talking about damn small Linux or DSL Linux. Um, so let's go and just check out a few things quickly um, on DistroWatch. <coughs> and I've already pulled a page up here for us where we can go and see. You can basically go to DistroWatch and you can come down here and you can see the ratings and you can come and see what no how, how Nofix is rate, rated. And over the few days it was it was up, but you know now it's just leveling off over the few few days, a few clicks and so here we're gonna go. We're gonna go uh this is their site. This is how what all is here, features and everything, and uh, all the baseline features of of everything that you're gonna get in, in, in every version. This is particularly where I started out is uh, 5.3, you know, um, that was where I started out. And, um, and then KDE uh, pretty much ran the desktop. And you, you, you know you're doing something right because now the default desktop is LXDE. And I thought that was amazing to mention that lightweight X11 desktop environment is, you know, is, is moving into the power rankings because KDE and GNOME have been around and have pretty much been the, the two major desktops. And now they have a major contender and, and, and some more desktops that are becoming popular as well, but we're not going to mention those. Another day, another video. Let's go to Nope site. And uh, this is pretty much, you can come and, and see everything and do everything. You might want to click up here and translate it over to English. It, you know, otherwise, if you can read German or Dutch, I think that's what it is. Uh, and you can click on that. Um, I can't, so I'll stay over here on the English side. You basically, where you can come and find information, you can download, you can order, um, it, order it if you want, or order different things. And you know, note they got various links, uh, and then the t shirt. Got to mention, got to eventually get me one of these guys. Um, so go out and support and, and get a cool t-shirt as well. Um, <clears throat> but the one particular thing, in, like any other community in open source or any other distro in open source, is going to have a community of how to get in contact with the community, where you get your support, you know, seminars, training, development, you know, different things that you can do um, with the community with with the community you know um, and then it's telling you how to create a, a graphical network boot and then after all of this tells you more about Nopix you know it says, it says who we are you know what this community Nopix community is about but one of the real interesting um, thing that I thought found about this website to me is that one of the main men, um, menus is dedicated to Adrian um, and this is just uh, audio desktop reference implementation and networking environment for people who are visually visual impaired and I thought that was nice nice technology to come on here and put it in for people who, who have poor vision or who cannot see period to let them be turned on or, or find more things about the open source um, software movement or the open source movement period and, and I just, just thought that was a nice touch to have that as a main menu and, and support and it's quite a few different open source community doing that so I just want to take my hat off to Nopix for doing that so that's enough about their website um, let's go ahead and fire up a virtual machine and let's look at Nopix do its thing Here we are. 
This is the main the main screen for Nopix. And basically you can just hit enter here. You can also, there's a lot of different boot parameters that you can type in here as well to you know uh, make Nopix more persistent, to load Nopix uh, in, in with different or special features. Uh, we're not gonna go into details of those things right now. They have a lot of that information right here on this website. And there's a lot of different wikis and information that you can Google about Nopix about getting things done. Like I said, Nopix is, is great about giving you a very good visual and doing a very detailed hardware probe. It's gonna be a little bit faster on this system because it is virtualized. So it's not gonna really, it's gonna be looking at a lot of virtual hardware. So it's gonna pretty much start relatively quickly too, even in a virtual environment. I was very impressed at how quickly Nopix got up and was up and going inside this virtual machine the very first time that I um, happened to run it. So here we are, we're to the desktop. And like I said, this is another shout out to the Lightweight X11 desktop environment um, community. Those guys over there are doing a great job. And um, to any time that you can get your, you know, you're taking a major uh, live, true live distribution, you know, with Nopix. And that's one, th that's one thing about Nopix. It's a true live system. There's no, you don't see a, a installer up here installed on the hard drive. You know, to get it to work like that, it's still going to act. Even when you install it to the hard drive, and there are a few ways to get it done out there. But it's not going to be a simple task like it would be um, in other systems. I do have a hard drive that I have a, a version of Notebook installed down on. But I tell you, it, it still like acts like it's running live, and it's just on a persistence. So you can install Notebook to USB. You can boot it from a USB drive, and things of that nature. So there's all types of wikis out there to help you get started in doing that as well. Um, this is just a few things I'm gonna point out because this thing is loaded. Notebooks is loaded with tools, software, you know, just about anything you want to learn about Linux. You have the software already pre-installed for you to get to using it, get to knowing about it, um, different versions of the same thing to cover the same tag. And I like that because it gives you option to find out what you particularly like or do not like. Um, but with this, with the little Notebooks menu, I wanted to point out that the Notebooks menu just helps you get installed and how you do things, like I say, install notebooks to a flash disk, a flash drive. Just all the different types of uh, wizards to help you get get things installed, done. And it said notebooks HD install. Um, this may be nice and cool and well um, that they have a little script now. But uh, in the early days of notebooks, it wasn't no little script uh, wizard inside of the notebooks menu. You bet pretty much, you know, if it did have that, you know, install the hard drive, it was, you know, you had to know a little bit about the hard drive partitions and everything to get it going for yourself. All right. And then the next thing that I wanted to point out uh, was that LXDE is your default um, desktop environment. But it's what I love about this is, is having the ability to change um, your desktop and uh, and choose and restart and do different desktops. So if you want to go into KDE, you you know you can. You know that's what I like about you know with notebooks you get the options of doing quite a few different things and and looking at and getting to say well do I want to just be com confined to LXDE? No, you don't necessarily have to. You can use KDE. Or do I want to be confined to GNOME? No, you do not have to. You can use uh, LSD. So, you know, you can you can pretty much um, try out different desktop environments which with this version of Notebooks. And I, I, I just really like that, that that's available for you to be able to do that. Um, And since we gave LSD and K 
KDE, and we mentioned no, we might as well. And restart and allow known to come up as well. Very nice scripting, very nice, you know, built in tools and support. Um, inside my virtual machine, because I kind of know where the known menus are, it came up a little dark, but I believe that's just probably my virtual machine and everything. So there it is. Pretty much um, all the accessories that you can, could ever want to use, packed full of educational tools, plenty of games, plenty of tools to work with your graphics, plenty of internet tools if you don't want to use the browser, the default browser, uh, instant messaging, that's instead of just like I said, you got two or three things. You got pigeon, empathy. You know, you got two or three different email clients. I know I use uh, side feed myself, and then you still got another email client. You got iSuite's a web browser, and then you got Chromium up here. So you got plenty of different ways of doing the same thing. Here we go again. You got, you have Abby Word, you have uh, Libra Office Writer. You know, there's always more than one way to to skin a cat and it's truly shown right now. Bluefish is a nice editor. I like this, but you also have Eclipse already pre-installed. GNOME Emacs Study uh, 23 is another um, IDE environment. So you got pretty much all the different programming tools that you're going to need and use. Come on with science, sound and video, everything that you would need to do to view, uh, create, manipulate, a lot of different tools right here already inside this system. Um, so, and then you even got support right now for Windows configuring, configuring Windows things, um, installing uh, Windows programs inside of Linux. So, there we are. <coughs> Pretty much uh, a complete system, live system, no fix. 7.2 great version great great utility for us troubleshooting great utility for you know having a live true live system that's going to allow you to have versatility and use quite a few different tools and learn about as much as you can learn about software so if you get a chance you want to go in and download the DVD version and so you can get it chock full of software and everything that you need and, and boot from it, play with it, and see what you like. So there it is. Uh, Distro of the month is Nofix 7.2. It's uh, it's the Debian variant and uh, Dell Small Linux is based off of Nofix. So and, <coughs> and everything and Nofix is based off De Debian. That's why I say it's the Debian variant. So it's in the family of um, what I use and that's Ubuntu it's in the Ubuntu Debian family it's right around there doing the same type of package managing that um, that's inside the Debian package system so um, you guys thank you for coming out and watching another one of my videos it took me a little time to get to this one to, to my fourth one because I wanted to try to master making a better one and I hope we get this done thank you all and y'all have a blessed day blessed night